I did the front, but I need to do the back. Trying to add you on, cuz, oh. Trying to add you on. Look, both my cousins up in here. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm talking kind of. What up, cuz, oh? Yo. Yeah, I see they got this little ad. It'll be a little chaotic back here, man. Your cousin over here cutting up. Look at him dance. Oh, now I want to stop. Now, now you want to get serious. <laughs> like, right. You know how it is. <laughs> oh, shit. You yeah. about that, man. Yeah, man. So, man, I had, to, I had to go ahead and try to put something out there, man, on this uh tragedy that happened yesterday, well, this past week. Uh, so, man, what I did was, man, I wanted to say that, you know, the difference, and I'm going to see how you feel about this, man, the difference in all these uh, tragedies that took place is that, you know what I mean, um, basically the one in El Paso, the read, because see, look, man, now now they starting to try to use white supremacy. Now they're trying to use the term, um, uh, you know, basically white supremacy, and they, and they acting like they want to do something about it. But see, what people are failing to realize is that the main reason why they being so proactive is because a few of them, a few of those people that got shot in El Paso uh, were like um, Mexican. Uh, Mexican nationalists. Yeah, Mexican nationalists. So the Mex Mexico was like, hey, well, we, we may have to go to the feds. We may have to try to do something with y'all. And then all of a sudden, Trump come out like, hey, hey. We got to do something about these uh, white supremacists. I don't see that out, man. I don't know if you saw that, but they've been real slick with shit. Man. I'm sorry. I need you to, re I need you to repeat some of that shit, man. I, I caught the part about them being Mexican nationalists and the fact that Mexico wants to do something about it. Well, Mexico's trying to basically Mexico's trying to shoot sue the United States because it was some Mexican nationalists that got shot in the midst of that uh, El Paso shooting, and shortly right. after shortly after they came out with that, they no. they started uh was it before? They but, said they were going to treat it as a terrorist attack, and then they let out the article about Mexico. Right, right. So now they're going to treat it as a terrorist attack. When you know what I'm saying, they're not treating that shit in Dayton, Ohio, as a terrorist attack, and it, it was right. the nine people that died, six of them were black. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. From my under, from my understanding, from my understanding, the club that he shot up was a club that was, you know, what I'm saying, supposed to be in a good area. Mm -hmm. So, uh. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just noticing, man, how now all of a sudden, man, things need to be done for these white supremacists. But things wasn't really, things wasn't done when, you know, black people been getting shot up by the police that have been infiltrated by, by these uh, supremacist groups. And so now they're talking mm. about it. Yeah, yeah, it's it's interesting because I was I was listening to some, some, some people, you know what I'm saying, uh, like Tariq Nasheed and Black Authority. Right. 
and they were talking about how, like you were saying, uh, there's some sleeper cells waking up, and basically they 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 had the intentionality of of like you were saying this this stuff is about nationalism. You're talking about two nations, like they they made a declaration first off with their manifestos, what they was trying to do. Okay. They, they had a clear intention that they didn't like certain individuals, certain nationalities, quote unquote, invading their land. Okay. I don't see why people want to try to make it something that it's not. That's what the problem is. Everybody want to try to make it something that it's not instead of actually looking at what <laughs> these McLovin ass motherfucking bird chest motherfuckers are talking about. These motherfuckers are telling you what they're trying to do, what they are about. Yep. They said that they trying to get rid of motherfuckers. Yep. It it really is just that damn simple. And then when and just like you was talking about when you bringing in Mexican nationalists, people that, you know what I'm saying, have some 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 pull in their home country. Right. One way or another. If if it's just because they're just Mexican citizens. You see what I'm saying? It may be no more than just the fact that they are Mexican citizens and Mexico is like, hold on, what the fuck just happened? Because they don't play that shit. Right. And see, that's the thing. Here in America, we have a different situation, though. Like, what America is, what America is, we ain't never going to see that type of uh, stand-up-ism. Or how, I, ain't nobody going to stand up for us like that. Nah. Because, just like you said, the, 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 the main people that are feeling some kind of way to want to pick up guns and maybe even if guns aren't available they'll go get a truck put a bunch of fucking fertilizer in the shit right that happened that happened before guns was even out here like this right or well, wrong well you already know you already know it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a diversion man you know they they want to use the mental health they want to use the gun control but you know when you look at all these other domestic terrorist acts it wasn't through guns you know what I mean? Look at uh old boy Tim Timothy McVeigh. He, he, he you know what I'm saying? What you gonna do? You gonna you gonna say that Timothy uh McVay you bought a truck fertilizer in a truck and blew the whole half a damn building off. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. And that ain't put no damn gun involved in none of that shit. Guns didn't even get brought into the picture until the Columbine shit. I'm not saying people didn't die from guns, but I'm saying this phenomena that we have now with this mass shooting, some some crazy ass motherfucking disgruntled individual is always an individual right wants to go shoot up a bunch of people that's not that's that's a whole nother kind of creature right there this is some new it's not really new shit but it's some new shit but they've allowed this shit they've allowed it though they allowed because like that, and that made, and that's yeah, what makes that's you think saying. you know what I'm saying? It, only, it only mattered it only mattered when it came to See, like we don't have we don't have a, a, a interest group that can come and defend us. We don't have like Africa ain't gonna come and defend uh, a nigga like me from Indianapolis. You know what I'm saying? Like, no. it, and that's the advantage. That's really the advantage of being Hispanic. So you can be Hispanic and you can be here, mm -hmm. and if something happened, you can get deported. And you can go back to okay, your home, me, your home place. Me, like, where, I can't go. Where am I going? I'm gonna get deported quick. back to Indiana. Like, nigga, no, that ain't about to happen. That, that's what I'm saying, though. That's what I'm saying. That's the I mean, my okay. Man. That's what it is from being from a nation. Now, if we went to say we went to Germany, okay, and got caught up into some similar shit we would be in the same type of situation as they were because they belong to a certain as now, now be it that we black. I don't know how, how, <laughs> how quick they would be to come see about us, but let's say it was somebody of good standing. Okay. Right. Somebody of, of, of good standing, you go over to a foreign country, you get shot and you get killed over there in some kind of terrorist like event. Right. America going to fucking go all out. America going to go all out because that's what it is. That it is it's not necessarily a racial thing even though there's racial components mixed into this soup. Right. But this is a lot of different <clears throat> a lot of different ingredients that have been festering and simmering over time. Like let's just say since 2015. Right. You know what I'm saying? 
Right. It, it wasn't like just one thing. This is several things over several years that almost seemed damn near ritualistic. And they have been weighing on people's minds if they know it or not one way or the other. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, I've gone and got real apathetic about a lot of shit. But well, that's the thing, man. But, you got you got you got people out here, man, that are uh believing what they hearing on TV, man. You got people that are 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 thinking that it's mm-hmm. it is see, that's the thing, man. They pump so much of this out there, man, it gets you to kind of believe the narrative, you know what I'm saying? But like uh Sandra Mackey, like she's saying, you know, first, what up though, Sandra? It said uh I, how's they had, say they had the power to stop oh, but they would walk, but they would benefit. Yeah, they gonna benefit. You know what I'm saying? What up, cuz? Hey, you know what, what I like about this shit right here, man? I got I got hella cousins coming in here and, and fucking with my shit, man. I appreciate that, man, because I'm glad everybody can be on here at the same time, too, man. That's 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 but uh but yeah, what I was gonna say, man, is like let's let's not get this shit, let's not get this shit twisted, man. Like people, people like all the elections, you know, right come up. You know what I'm saying? ASAP, yep. ASAP Rocky is free. And let's let's not let's <laughs> not think let's not think that ASAP Rocky being free is really meaning something because at the end of the day, if you go and do research on ASAP Rocky, ASAP Rocky doesn't even claim to be black. Okay. And I don't even want to get into ASAP Rocky because what he said during Ferguson, man, that's what that's what that's- kind of that kind of made me a little weary on him in the first place. You know what I'm saying? Now but but that goes back to my original point about nationality. ASAP Rocky was fucking hung up over there in another country, and President Trump. I don't. I'm not saying he was the one that got him out of there, but he said something about it. You know what I mean? He he said we words on it. He didn't have to say shit about it at all. Nah, he did. He didn't. But see, this that's the thing, though, cuz oh, the thing is that he did it because he. ASAP Rocky claims f- another foreign area, man. He claims like to be like in from uh, I think his father somewhere in the Caribbean or something. I don't know. He he has foreign roots, man. But that that's the only reason. If he was a nigga from Harlem, if he was a nigga from New York, he would still be out there. You know what I'm saying? Possibly, possibly. So, and that's that is that's what I want to see. That's what I want to see. I want to know. I want to. And I don't think gun. I think gun control is a part of a solution, okay? Just like I keep referring to soups and shit. I'm a, I cook a lot. Hey, so but, you, see my, you can see my comments still? I don't see all this shit. Ha, that's what's... Yeah, this is what's up. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, cuz. <laughs> but yeah, no, like, okay, so gun control might do one or two things, in my opinion. It, it may make people want to go harder, about getting guns and shit like that. But really, it's the culture. It's our whole American way of life. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. You can't just pick one thing over the other and say, oh, well, if we do this, then all the problems are going to go away. Because I don't think it will. Because nah. you got what you have is people with murderous intent in the first place. Hey. That's where the whole, that's the seed that grows the whole murderous motherfucking tree. Yep. You, you, okay, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, so that's where I'm at with it. Well, yeah, that's it. I, I, I don't. I don't. I don't. But a gun, gun, gun control is never. Gun control is never going to exist because it is written in their words about bearing arms. They're never going to get. Mm-hmm. They're never going to give away their guns, man. They never going to do that. I, I see. That's the thing, though. I don't care about. I don't mind the Second Amendment. Is that man black? The black culture do not emphasize and teach that to our kids. Everybody like we don't. We don't. You know we don't do that as much as we should. Like every black family should know and understand about guns. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if, when you don't do that, then you know what I mean. It's like you see situations of you know little kids getting killed and stuff like that. But as far as gun control, you're never going to control that. Like, they try to make it about you having to get some type of, uh, you know, mental evaluation and this, this, and this. Man, look, man, This I was thinking about this earlier. If these dudes, anybody they've ever said that have done these quote-unquote mass shootings 
Where is any paperwork that they've ever shown that these people had mental illnesses? I've never seen any paperwork. What they do is I, I see them put it in the media, but I have seen no paperwork, man. They they don't, I've seen, I don't remember seeing any paperwork that they've even flashed on the TV that said that, that actually had these people having some type of mental illness. You know what I mean? They don't declare this shit until they get yeah. caught and until they, well, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And that's my, that's the, of course. That's, you know what I mean? So it's like they, like now, look, man, it's, 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 see, people gotta understand. If you ain't moving on, if you ain't moving kind of fast and on some futuristic shit, like you ain't gonna be able to catch things in the now. And man, if right. you, anybody, if you anybody that's in the now right now, you know that this shit is turning up right now. So it ain't any of the things that we used to do for years and years and years. Now them things are cut short and you gotta make decisions, nigga. Like you gotta you gotta be you gotta be ready to make some decisions out here. And I think that we have been pacified out here, coddled in a lot of things. And so we always we always kinda think and have to think and feel and all that. It's like, hey yo. Like these elections about to come up, I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna tell you right now. My feeling is, you gonna have, you gonna have Donald Trump. He's gonna win again. And then I, I, I am putting it out there right now. If it don't happen, I don't give a damn. I believe that he's going to try to be the president forever. Because this shit is so surreal right now. Like no, yeah, possibly, possibly. He, man, listen, man. He, he's got the money. He's got the he's got the American people. He's got the red. He's got everybody that's on that bullshit. He's got them as they base. That's yeah. It. And they 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 are showing out out here, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you, yeah. I, I, ain't trying, I, I ain't trying to say too much, man, because they'll they'll cut this shit right yeah. now. But I know if you do yeah, some, yeah. Yeah. if you do some research out here, you'll you'll see you'll see the ties and the lineage of who is in office right now and who's out here doing these uh, white identity extremist supremacist uh, moves out here. And these dudes is writing manifestos, man. This dude wrote a manifesto and had a manifesto yeah. out there for a whole half hour before he even did the shit at Walmart. Like, yo... Where the minority report at? Where that at? Where where they should be able to catch? You don't want that though. You don't want that. You don't want that. That's a slippery slope of real badsville. Cause, but <laughs> look here. I was I was telling somebody this this exact same this thing right here. Right. I want to say around 2015, around 14 ish. I was I was uh -huh. big into watching YouTube videos. I still am. You know what I'm saying? I like listening to people bring out stuff, you know what I mean? And however way it's, however it go, you know what I mean? It's not that that's right. just the gospel or nothing, but it's just interesting to hear people's thoughts, okay? Now, you, I could tell that, and see, I like a lot of weird shit, talking about metaphysical shit and spooky shit, okay? Now, these motherfuckers was talking one way for from like 2010 up until 2015, yeah. And then when yeah. 2015 hit, that's when the whole separatisms and nationalisms and shit started being brought into the conversation. I'm like, mm, this is interesting. How, how, and this was before Trump was even in the motherfucking picture. Okay. Then when Trump gets starts to be put in the picture, shit progresses. Okay. And now here we are, okay, fast forward, because for me, I had to live not like it was this big thing, but we had Ferguson. That was business, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And Ferguson yeah. happened. Shit happened after that. Progressive, progressive. Shit starting to lag up. Maybe we talk too much. Yeah. But uh, but all I'm saying is, is now the, the national media is caught up. You see what yeah. I'm saying? National media is caught up. They putting in what they want to put in. And, and that's why, like I said, I'm really apathetic to a lot of shit because none of this seems... Progress anything. It seems like we've been in a loop for years, just going through the same thing, same thing until the meat's tenderized. I guess meat ain't ready yet. Maybe, maybe it is. I don't know. But yeah. 
it, it just I seems know. like I don't, I don't know, man. I'm, I feel like I'm about to go off the fucking off the script. <laughs> now you, now you, now you good. But now it's uh, now because of uh, Jason was like the entire system slash corporation of the United States wasn't mad with us in mind. Yeah, see, that's, I mean, it wasn't you know, it's a, it's a, and of course it wasn't. We was cattle uh, slaves. Well, see, that's about that's it what it was made for us in mind as motherfucking cows. So, this is what, it, and you're right, you're right. This is what I was saying. Man, I'm about to uh, about to go ahead and end this, man. Hey, we, we should damn near dumb, you should damn near come on more often because oh, I'll, I'll put you on, nigga. but now nah, this is what I was gonna, this is what I was gonna say, man. See, like, uh, right now, right now, we at a point where. You know what I mean? Like our our problems that are going on within our community are things that we should be trying to find solutions for and trying to like, you know, rebuild and try to like come with a whole different type of thing. Cause man, the, you know, the baby boomers is really then 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 took this a whole nother direction for us. I mean, that's the yeah. first thing. Second thing is that you know what I'm saying, like right now, right now what's really happening, man, you have you do have a civil war going on. And I believe that you do have the uh, supremacist groups. They are clashing with the upper elites in uh, America. And so what's happening is you're seeing all this crazy wild shit happening. My whole point is, is you know what I'm saying, black people, hold your own nuts. Don't worry about these yeah, other yeah. people That's out here, man. Top. Until until That's they come really to, right. until they start coming to us saying, "Hey man, we want to help you with what y'all y'all having problems with," then I'll help you with your problem. But until then, hey man, you know I feel sorry for that El Paso shit. But yo, the shit that happened in Dayton that was that was on some some racial shit. All right, that shit was that was a direct racial thing right there. And I believe the only reason why they killed that dude is because he had on all black. So they probably thought he was a nigga. You understand what I'm saying? But yeah, man, yeah. I'm about to, I'm about to jump yeah. off on here. I'm about to jump off on here. All right. All right, cuz. Yeah, I'm going to get with you. Jumping. Yeah, man. All right, man. Catch up with me later. Yep. Yep. It was it was good talking to you. This was this was fun. Yeah, yeah, you we'll too. Do this shit again. Yeah, we're going to do this shit again. All right, man. Okay. All right, yo. I appreciate everybody, man, that, uh, that came on with this right here. Uh, well, you know what I'm saying? You can you can definitely go, go back and listen. I appreciate that, too. Uh, but, yeah, man, hey, I'm about to jump off over here. I don't even know how long I've been going. But, you know what I'm saying? That was my cousin right there. That was my cousin right there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Kurt Mason. Y'all go ahead and follow him, too. You know what I mean? He, uh, that's my, 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 my knees all the way back. But, hey, hit me up, man, ComedianJScott.com. Also, hit me on my hashtag, WTR. W T F U R P R O B L E N B. What the fuck is your problem? Be? I'm out, man. Peace.